Friends, direct job failed in this case. Let us see after that how I managed this case. This is a cataract with grade 2 plus nuclear sclerosis. This is a totally unedited surgery. Main incision is made on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter keratome. The patient is under topical anesthesia. Little bit of phenocaine which contains lignocaine, tropicamide and phenylephrine is injected into the anterior chamber. Then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now capsulorexis is done with the help of a uterata forceps. This is the studio coaxial illumination and we get a very good red glow. The microscope is Lumera T from Jais. Size of this rexis is about 5 mm. It's fairly round and central. Hydro dissection is done with basis. Anterior chamber is again filled up with SPMC. And now I take the hand piece. My plan is to do direct vertical job in this case. Let's see what happens. I remove some superficial lens matter. Then I bury the tip in the substance of the nucleus. As I try to chop, it doesn't happen. I didn't try one more time because then use of the pre-chopper will be difficult. So I take the pre-chopper designed by me and the nuclear sustainer. The sustainer hooks the equator and the pre-chopper goes towards the sustainer and we separate laterally. One more and then one more. So we divide the nucleus into three fragments. And now we are going to emulsify the pieces. Again, I take the hand piece, go in and tilt on piece and emulsify. Ultrasonic energy is set at 65%, flow rate is 48, vacuum is 480 millimeter of mercury. The pieces are emulsified nicely. And this is the last piece. And then the epinucleus is to be removed. At this time, I ask for coaxial illumination. And I try to remove part of the cortex by the hand piece itself, taking all precautions. And most of the cortex is removed by the hand piece. I am not encouraging you to do this. When you try this initially, you are going to rupture on or two posterior capsule. So, it is your decision whether you will do it or not. A little bit of cortex was there at 3 o'clock and 8 o'clock it's removed. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. This is hydro polish. Just by the irrigation, 
the poster capsule is polished and then uh, a single piece monofocal intraocular lens will be implanted in the bag the main wound is enlarged to about 3 mm and here goes the lens let us see what is the uh, lens this is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens no visco is there in the anterior chamber or in the bag because of hydro implantation and after implanting the lens we have irrigated the anterior chamber as well as the space between the posterior capsule and the lens the side port is nicely closed by corneal stromal hydration and then the antechamber is nicely formed integrity of the wound such checked few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention